The pericardial sac can be thought of a balloon with a fist put through it, such as the picture on the right, where the outside of the balloon corresponds to the parietal pericardium, the inside of the balloon corresponds to the visceral pericardium, and the space corresponds to the pericardial cavity. The epicardium is another name for the visceral pericardium, the myocardium is the layer just deep to that, and deep to that layer is the endocardium. Here we have a model of the heart, where the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava pass blood into the right atrium. The blood passes from the right atrium through the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Blood is then pumped from the pulmonary semilunar valve through the pulmonary trunk and into the pulmonary arteries. Blood coming from the pulmonary veins passes into the left atrium through the left atrioventricular valve or bicuspid valve or mitral valve into the left ventricle. Blood is then pumped through the aortic semilunar valve to the ascending aorta and over the aortic, over the aortic arch and down the descending aorta. These flaps are the right and left auricles. The coronary sinus, this blood vessel, sits in the coronary sulcus. This is the anterior interventricular sulcus. And the vascular sitting here is in the posterior interventricular sulcus. This connective tissue here is the ligamentum arteriosum. If we look under the right auricle, we see the fossa ovalis. These bumps in the atria are the pectinate muscles. These muscles down here connecting the chordae tendinae are these white strings. These muscles are called the papillary muscles. In the ventricles, these bumps are the trabeculae carnae. And this septum, separating the right and left ventricles, is the interventricular septum. Here we have the right coronary artery, a sliver of the left coronary artery, branching into the circumflex artery. We have the anterior interventricular artery the posterior interventricular artery and the marginal arteries of the right coronary artery and marginal arteries of the left coronary artery. Here we have the great cardiac vein, the anterior cardiac vein, the coronary or cardiac sinus, posterior cardiac vein of left ventricle, the middle cardiac vein, and the small cardiac vein. On this model we have the right and left coronary artery, the anterior interventricular artery, the posterior interventricular artery, the circumflex artery, and the right and left marginal branches. Those being right and left of coronary artery. Then we have the great cardiac vein, the anterior cardiac vein, the coronary or cardiac sinus, the posterior vein of left ventricle, the middle cardiac vein, and the small cardiac vein.